Hey guys, Rex is Jay Merrill, and I'm back in the YouTube recording thing. I mean, it's been a while since you've seen me record something, and uh, I was just allowing you guys to see view my videos that I've made. But apparently, I have now have 572, uh, but then again, I don't know what which content. I mean, some of you may not like the content I post, some of you might not. But the reason why I'm making these super fast videos rapidly, mainly, is because uh, I'm in a little trouble with my family, but not not like anything that or anything, just, um, well, separate family, well, you know, never mind about families, but apparently, uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing, this is going to be another video about Skyland Fusionaires, apparently. And I already talked about Spongebob. This time, let's show the collier. And we're actually going to get to do two, three today. Meet the next character. Patrick Starr. What do you think of his design, huh? He's a habit. See, likes to eat, likes to sleep, late, super lazy, and likes to go jellyfishing. The hammer I based off of the fact that his based off that stick thing sticking out of the rock. How he I wonder how he managed to do so. But then again, that's basically a piece of his rock right there. He's a brawler, a smasher, and knight. And like I said before, this this time, like SpongeBob and Patrick are both smashers. This time he's a smasher with an actual mallet called the Star Smasher. But don't worry, he doesn't have an actual star. And like I said before, this only this is a, just a fan-based idea that I've made. I mean, it probably won't be a game in the future, but I hope you enjoy. I mean, I basically he's the co-layer of this, and apparently no one knows what Patrick Star's real catchphrase is, so I just gave him one. I'm the star. I mean, that's quite obvious. And like SpongeBob, his health is 319. I mean, then again, he's a sea creature. And uh, he's a knight immunity because even if he he will regenerate a little bit of health considering he's a starfish. And uh, we go, but apparently SpongeBob and Patrick aren't they're kind of like goofballs. So we need. I decided to add in two more co-leaders. Along again. Next clue being that that he'll, well. First of all, he also works at the Krusty Krab, cashier, clarinet, artist, artist, and doesn't like SpongeBob and Patrick much, and is basically gloomy every day. Let's have, give it up for Squidward to make sure Patrick and SpongeBob don't fall behind. Apparently, like him, he doesn't have a catchphrase, so I had to give him prepare to face the music, which is already a part of Skylanders and Imaginators, but took it and put it in here. Now, he'll be a brawler because of it? He'll be a brawler for his? Yes, he'll be a brawler with his tentacles. He can utilize his... And there's a battle class called the Blower, which involves not... I mean, since it is... Technically, a house of air, and even though he's not, you would think it would be part of a dragon class or something, but no, it's him because he's not part dragon. He's a shapeshifter like SpongeBob and Patrick, but apparently he's advanced because he'll also have that buffed out form of his with a guitar. If you remember that one, that episode, he has 319% of health as well. He's also a healer because he also makes Krabby Patties. Originally, I wanted him as a bazooka, but now that doesn't make sense. Apparently, he's not also a knight, but he is a boat. Okay. He's a... He can basically heal you in his blower class. He can also heal you in his healer class. And he's a brawler. And he can also have the ability from Nicktoon's Battle for Volcano Seeker. To Volcano Island. With the slingshot. Using his head as a sling. With the slingshot. Using his head as the weapon. But let's get on to the next career to make sure. Obviously, it's going to be Mr. Krabs. And for his catchphrase, I put in, I'm ready for action based on that superpower of SpongeBob Underpants. Good game. 
He's apparently a knight, obviously, and with his big meaty claws, he will, is also a brawler. Also added some gold right here, if you can barely tell, and yeah, very hard to make this character. I mean, he was technically next. I technically drew him after I drew Plank. Dang it. You know what? I'll just show. Actually, yeah, this is a bit. Uh, apparently, despite the fact that he's one of the powerful allies of SpongeBob, he... Well, yeah. Here's his stats. He's... Instead of 20, he'll have to be 5% because he you have to upgrade him. I mean... And, but he starts off with 100% of armor, so basically, since he's a crab, not a lot of stuff makes anything fast. But he's a little bit slower with 5, so he's both 5 in attack and I mean damage of 5 in speed. And for luck, he's uh, 30, because he's a pirate whatever, and he, yeah, yeah, because of this gold, and if you defeat enemies, you get stuff. And you know what, let's have another character. Plankton. Apparently, I couldn't figure out a catchphrase for him, so I had to give him the power, fear the power of the, my staff, haha. <laughs> really. But here's the thing, though. Uh, he's not only a sorcerer, he's also a smasher, because uh, from Nicktoons... Glob of globs of doom. You, his staff utilizes into a hammer. Apparently, he has a weak def damage, considering he is one percent, one percent of de defense, five percent of speed because he's small, and three percent luck. Yeah, he's basically not good enough. But I'll try and make think of some upgrades. I mean, heck, I'm also working on upgrades and stuff. But uh, I'll show you those in the next bit. And from Monsters vs. Aliens, we have, we're actually going to try to get as much as we can today for Sky vs. Fusionaires, is the missing Link. Or just Link. He's a Tail Whipper. Brawler. And apparently he's going to be a blower, because he has a gun based on, like, that little log thing based off his, 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 his heating log. Is he log? He will, uh, yeah, he'll squirt water, basically, and it's time to get to work. And from Jurassic World, if this possibly couldn't be, considering you could play her as play her in the Lego Dimension, in the Lego Jurassic World game, you can get Mosey, the Mosasaurus with an original roar. And from head to tip, oh yeah, based off of the giants, uh, certain characters can be able to glow. Can be able to glow. So from her head to tail, she glows, and her eyes glow orange. And well, yeah, I think that's all. And I'll show you the rest later. But yeah, I wanted to. I'll show you the rest of them another time. But I hope you all enjoyed these other water scanners, and I'll show you the next one. Hoping that maybe this could spark some interest to the people worldwide. And maybe even get subscribed. So hit that subscribe button. Slash the notification bell. And I'll see you next time.